Welcome back to my channel, The Queen of Budget. So today I'm gonna to do a really short video on an Operation Christmas Child haul that I got from the Goodwill bins, also known as the Goodwill outlets. I got uh, 14 ounces, which is less than a pound. I pay $1.39 a pound, so everything I got was less than $1.39 for all of it, so pretty exciting. Uh, the first thing is a brand new pair of socks. Um, I'm thinking for a little boy, maybe five to nine year old, um, will fit these. Um, they're clovers, but I still think, even though they're St. Patrick's Day, I think he'll still enjoy them. The next thing I got is one of the little Ipsy bags. And I'm super excited because one of the boxes that I'm creating is a red theme. And I thought this would be perfect for the 10 to 14 year old girl underwear that I can put in there um, so she doesn't get embarrassed. Then inside I have a little tea set. Um, it was in the box still when it was at the bins, but I took it out because then I didn't have to pay for the weight of the box. Um, this is just one that's normally from the Dollar Tree or whatever. Um, so not like super high quality, but I do feel like it's they're, they're sturdy enough um, that they're not gonna break. But four little cups and then four little plates and four little spoons and then the little teapot. Um, so I thought that was super cute. Uh, the next thing I got, I'm not even sure the brand of it, um, but she was also new. Um, new in box, her hair got a little messed up in in my bag and I can fix that, but I thought she was super cute. Love that her skin was just a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna see if the clothes that fit on like the Barbie Kelly dolls, if they fit her and maybe put in another outfit so we can maybe get some little pants for her. I got this container, um, which was also a brand new. It had things in it, but I took them out because I didn't want those things. But I'm going to use this as a fishing kit um, for a 10 to 14 year old boy to put all the different lures in. Um, I am not very good at creating the uh, fishing kits because I don't fish. So if any of you have some great ideas on what to put in it, I have some bobbers, I have um, the fishing line, and I have. I think they're called sinkers um, but if, and hooks. So if you have some other ideas, do you put like little scissors in there? Um, I would love to know what you put in your fishing kit. The next thing is a, um, a Lego. And this is just like one of those little Lego boards and I know you can get them at the Dollar Tree, um, but this one is actually the Lego brand. So I buy the huge box of Legos after Thanksgiving when they're like $20 for I think like 900 pieces and then I divide them up and I love to put these little ones in there so that um, when they're building that they can build on this something um, something sturdy. All right and just a couple more things. I got two of these little guys. They are I think from like Happy Meals or something um, but I mean the tags look absolutely brand new. Yeah Happy Meal um, and I love putting these in the boxes when there's just a little bit of space they can squeeze in. And then the last thing I got was a little giraffe here, super, super cute. Um, and I know, may, I'm hoping that I can find maybe the, the regular size ones so I can have the mom and the baby. Uh, so yeah, not a whole lot of things, but I spent under a dollar 39 for all of it. Um, so I'm super excited to get these put in some of my boxes for the 2020 um, collection. Have you been finding any wonderful deals? Um, I know that things are still in some states closed. Um, have your stores open? Have you been able to go? Have you been sourcing online? Um, please leave a comment below on any wonderful things that you found. Um, I'd love to know so I can find some more treasures for my boxes. Um, have a great day. Bye.